were talking about body count yesterday. Yeah, and in America, so, in America, is it, yes, is it so, a thing? Alex, yes. So, what's your so, take on that? All right. Yeah, I mean, it's more of like a high school thing, I guess. Like when you're seventeen to twenty-two, I guess it's a thing of like a girl that has a high body count or a guy that has a high body count. But after that, I don't think it really matters. But it is a thing in high school where it's like, ooh, that girl's got a high body count. There is okay. Do they, that. Do they look down on people yeah. with high body counts? Okay. Right. Right. He said, do they look down with people with high body counts? It depends on who you are. If you yourself have a high body count, I mean, you don't well, wouldn't necessarily, but all right. if you had a two body count and then that girl had a 30 or a 50, then yeah, it'd be frowned upon. Oh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much. Come on now, Okay, okay. Based, on, based on my experience, my personal experience, the attitude is is uh, dependent upon the gender of the individual. Uh, obviously, it seems like a more machismo thing for a man to have a higher body count because that would make him a, a stud, if you will. Whereas a woman who is has a high body count is seen as a bluesy or whatnot. It's like the old American saying goes. A key that can open a lot of locks is a pretty good key. A lock that opens to any other key is a pretty is a is a bad lock. Mm, 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 okay, okay. Mm, that is great. Okay, that one don't happen yesterday. Like I watched the video small, so I don't feel talk anything there. But that is I want to add one more thing now. Like about Nigeria and abroad. Like take a look at all these countries. Like let me just say like again, Finland. Their population, they like, it's like probably five million or six Thank million. You, yeah. And you and you, you go to some other country like Hungary, Poland, all this Serbia, yeah. Croatia. You know, say like you know, like you can actually go to that country with one thousand dollars, even in their capital city, and still live large for like a week before you check out. Oh, that's Christian. Then when you come to Nigeria, just in fact, our Lagos says Lagos alone. With one K, you know, one thousand dollars, no fee service like three days for Lagos. One thousand dollars is one point two million. No, it goes serve you parcel. Serve unless you want to stay, unless you want to stay in hotel or moving. But I'm telling you, the kind of hotels you're going to stay over there will be like five star, like you can. Like I'm telling you. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. You feel stay like you feel carry one thousand dollars stay. You go see some hotels on use this like it's like let's say seventy five dollars. It's like almost two hundred dollars for one night. Mm, 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 mm. So if, mm. if you look at it the other way around, Nigeria sometimes is really more expensive. All right, we've got a brother in the house. Brother, how you doing? How you doing, my brother? Uh huh. Over to you. So they freeze. Uh, sorry, I say, how you see this, this yarn? Yes, yeah, so you know, um, most of us, especially Nigerians, we don't want fly before running. We just want stand begin to fly. You understand? That's the problem we have. If you if you check on most of the videos going around on social media, it's usually people that just came abroad. They want to come abroad today. The next day, they want to start making one million dollars. Mm. You know, you have to pay your dues. Mm -hmm. You have to start from somewhere. But people go just come abroad bish, the next day. They think the money is falling from trees and they want to start making the money. The truth is, everywhere in this world is good. Okay? Everywhere in this world is good, even as bad as Israel or wherever it is. They are like the wars happen in different places. But it depends on what you're doing and how you plan yourself and mm -hmm. how you live. Mm -hmm. But if you are trying to compare Nigeria and America or Canada or UK, it's very difficult to compare because they are not both apples. You have to compare apples to apple. It's like comparing apple to um, pear, which can't is not a good comparison. That's what I'm trying to say. So, if you want to live abroad, you have to start from somewhere. If you're living abroad, let's say, for example, I've been in Canada for almost 13 years now. <laughs> when I came. Things were tough for me. Things were very, very difficult for me. But today, I'm in a, I feel I'm in a better place, in, in a very, very good uh, position where I can do things, do whatever I want to do. I have my time. I've 
invested in some things and I can do what I want to do. But someone that just came to Canada or America or wherever, a year or two, three years, and they, the next thing they are comparing Nigeria to this. If you want, if you like Nigeria and you are abroad, go back to Nigeria. There is a reason why people, a lot of people, including you, that you freeze. I, I knew the last time you were in Toronto. Come here. When you come here, and the things are expensive here, but you make the money and you're able to fit or do whatever you want to do. Okay? The system is there to protect you. The system mm. is there to protect you, just like the, the other guy said. But if you want to live above your means, then that's where you're going to have a problem. That's where you have problems. But the truth is, the system, the minimum wage here is enough to feed you, accommodate you, clothe you, and make you live okay. Just very, very okay. Simply okay. No what friend. is the minimum wage in Canada? In Canada, minimum wage is by province. For example, I'm in Alberta, Calgary. Uh -huh. The minimum wage in Alberta is $15 per hour. That's the minimum wage in Alberta. $15 per hour. If you work, if you have the... There are very few jobs that pay minimum wage. Most of the jobs that pay above minimum wage, maybe 17, 18, you know, depends on what you're doing. But the most basic minimum wage is $15 an hour, which is very, very... There are very few jobs that, pay, that start from that. If you have a one room apartment hmm. in a low cost area, you feed yourself normal regular food. You could you could actually afford Nigerian food if you cook. You could afford Nigerian food if you cook your food. And you pay your rent, you buy your small phone, your regular simple phone, you pay your phone bills, you buy a regular small car, not an expensive car like a Mercedes. Then you'll be fine. You'll be able to afford the, yourself and live to your within your means mm -hmm. but the major problem with nigeria have, especially we that are that are Igbos, we want to live luxurious abroad and also want mm -hmm. to live luxurious in nigeria when we're not in nigeria most of us have that problem we want to show people in nigeria that we've arrived we are earning we are abroad we've gone abroad we started making money the money is coming we will now go to nigeria and start investing in nigeria at the end of the day that investment will burn us including myself i learned from that no i was a victim no of that you, you will never gain it no profit hmm. yes so that's one of the mistakes most of us do when we come abroad the next month the next two three months we want to start investing or sending money sending cars doing this doing that throwing just you know spending money in nigeria but not knowing that not knowing that we live here and where you live is where your heart is but what most of us want to be here and also want to be in Nigeria. And another thing is that if you've not gotten your papers abroad, focus on getting your papers first. Forget about making money. Your priority at the moment is that paper. There is no way you will make money if you've not gotten your papers. Except you're doing something illegal. If you're in the system, you cannot make money if you've not gotten papers, except you are on the street or doing other shady stuff. That is the truth. Many people want to come. They don't have papers. You've not even gotten your papers. You're talking about stress abroad, this, that, 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 that. Yes, there's a lot of stress. If you don't work, you will not eat. People, some people in different places, especially in Nigeria, they make money from the streets without even having a job. And so they make good money. But those things are not here. Most of the people complaining are those that are looking for money on the streets. But you can't really find it here. There are here, people do it here as well. But it's not easier to find. And you have to be very careful because the authorities are watching. You think they're not watching you. One day they'll come for you. Then you will know they are watching you. Uh, uh. So that's, that's the truth. Most of us, when they come here, within a short time, they want to buy a house. Especially in Canada. Exactly. Uh -huh. I know someone that moved. Yes, especially in Canada. I know someone that came here last year. Just last year, 2023. This few weeks ago, we we're having a conversation. Oh, and my income cannot buy this house. I said, my bros, when you come to Canada, you say, I was this in Nigeria, I was this in Nigeria. I know, but you are now in a different environment. As you came from Nigeria to Canada, did you transfer that job, that manager you were, or that whatever you were, did you transfer it here? No. So you have to start from the credit. I know people who are di executive directors in the banks, ED in banks, that came here, that started from the scratch in Nigeria, major banks in Nigeria, they, that started from the scratch. But it's good to have ambition, it's good to think big, but you have to start small. Mm. Mm. Yes. 
that the phrase abroad abroad not bad you know bad nobody say, i know they support me i know they trust me everybody run from nigeria but i want me nigeria have to get solid economy the way lagos be at least made that development extend to like if we get like 19 states for nigeria we'll be like lagos bro man we don't, don't blow for nigeria things go change people they suffer now uh -uh. now just on a day lagos abuja and then they enjoy everybody they go they fudge they do all these ones make we enter all those medugri then they were brothers so they've been nigerians boronu he enter all this abakaleke they go maybe mm, 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 only lagos mm, and abuja be nigeria mm. i feel leave now see i live for the lowest minimum wage for for nyanki but i still be like king <laughs> I get mm. fine house, I get fine neighborhood, I drive nice cars. That if you can carry anybody that was you can carry a picking, so make it go school for let's say Benway stage. You know go green, huh? Mm. The, thing is, the time I appreciated living abroad um so much was during COVID. Mm. During oh. COVID. Now during COVID, those that had covid the moment you stop work government will pay you your full salary and there are so many benefits that was going on during covid okay whether you are legal or illegal whether you have work permit or, or your pr or whatever status or not so far you are working somewhere they will pay your employer. All your employer will need to needs to do is to submit the number of employees. They don't even need to know the names. You say I have twenty employees. That's all. And then government to give you exactly the money they are, they are paying. All you need to show is proof. You don't need to know whether they have their PR or they are visitors or I mean students or whatever. That was all they needed. Your employer will just send the name to government, and they will send the money to your employer, and he will pay you. Some employers do some shady things. Yes, we know, but. That was it, and they were there were all sorts of palaces everywhere. They were giving free we had houses palaces too in Nigeria. We had Indomie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, so what I was saying is that, for example, most people that couldn't pay their rent, there was a department in government that was paying rent for people. Those that couldn't afford one sort of utility bills or the other, all you needed to do was to show proof that look at what you were earning. And look at what you're earning now, and you can afford it. That's all you needed to do. You, know, you there was a there was department that was handling that for people all over Canada. I'm sure of that. From you understand? Mm. So that is it. I'm not saying Nigeria is not good. Nigeria is very good. I love Nigeria. I love coming to Nigeria. But Everybody it's different. That. It's different. Nigeria is different from from here. There are things you don't think about here. You don't think about okay, security. I want to ask you a question. Two thousand dollars in Nigeria, or two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand naira in Lagos, or two thousand dollars in America. Which will you pick, all of you? Then I want to bring Samaria, who we yeah, I know is in America. Mo by mo monthly? You mean monthly? Yeah. Yes, two thousand dollars monthly in America, or two hundred thousand naira monthly in Nigeria. I would choose two thousand dollars in America. Two thousand dollars, brother. Yeah, that is free. Okay, back then, I would choose $2,000 in America. But today, of course not. Why? I, I mean, with the standard of living, I can't afford... $2,000 not going to take care of me for a what week. What I'm saying is $2,000... In, in today's world... Hold on, you're up, that you have two options. Two, is it... Yeah, as you are like this, they tell you go to America, but we don't earn more than two thousand dollars a month, or go to Nigeria and earn two hundred thousand naira a month. Choose one. I will choose the two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Yeah. Two thousand dollars. All right. Thank I'll take two thousand dollars, guys. God bless. Let me bring another set of people. Thank oh, you so okay. much. So I can round up. Thank you. Thank you, brother. God bless you. Yeah, God bless uh, you too, Daddy Freeze. Uh, God bless you. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen, pop my money guns. Uh, 
I'm rounding off. I'm just, just taking one more set of people. Samaria, how are you doing? Good, good evening. I just came back. Uh -huh. So real mm -hmm. quick, I want to pick your brain. Okay. $2,000 in America or 200000 Naira a month in Nigeria. Choose one. What part of Nigeria? <laughs> Any part of Nigeria. Uh-uh. It depends on the part. That if it's America has a way of making life easy for people, to be honest with you, regardless. Mm. So, um, is it just about the money or are there other benefits that will come with it? Just the money. No any benefit anywhere. Um, is it just me or family involved? Okay. You, you, your, your husband and one child. I don't get husband now, but let's assume husband. Husband okay. and one child. Let's assume husband, ba. Yes. And one to <laughs> Um. Uh, I just speak to who I don't like give you. Two hundred thousand naira. Two hundred thousand naira. Mm -mm. Yeah. That if it's overseas, please. Overseas. Yeah. Okay. Nigeria is All right. Nice. Brother, who is there? Go ahead, my brother. Now you will really wait for. If you give me that money, then you carry me for road in this day. Huh? If you give me that 200k, they will take me the next day on the road. They will pick me up. <laughs> Please go just arrest you for nothing. You can begin to explain. The money go west. Nepa, if you no bring light, like, they use the money pay for Nepa. Mm. Uh, Mm. He's a big deal. I beg, overseas, I beg. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. We cannot take too much of anybody's time. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to talk about Canada. Uh, uh, the same question, would you rather be in Canada than Nigeria on a small budget? Which would you manage well? Which would you manage better? So, guys, take good care of yourselves.